pre regular in the next couple of weeks because i'm uh, traveling outside the country and in a very <clears throat> different time zone so but but if i am finding myself <laughs> awake and indoors at indian standard time i'm sure i'll be back uh, number 2 uh, so something which i am very very happy to uh, share on calagram market uh, two of our um, very very old time uh, but for some reason i'm not seeing people on this is this thing even live or am i like oh yeah okay now i can see people on this so uh, number one i might not be online all the time uh, next couple of weeks uh, so from december 26th 27th we'll be in full swing number 2 uh, uh number 2 a uh, couple of uh, two of our uh, very very old viewers uh, as in not that they are old in the sense they are old people i mean to say they have been following us since the day we started klrcham uh, sarita and uh, kaustha uh, got married to each other a uh, couple of days back um, so I, i really wanted to wish them the very best of luck on this because you know they've been uh kind of with us for the last two two or two and a half years uh, kausta does very well in trading now i came to know about it through learn app where he had been featured on that so kausta uh, sarita wishing you the very best of what life has to offer from all of klr chem uh janta all of us <laughs> around 200 people here so anyway let's get started with uh, today's analysis so this is the moment when i always wonder why are we even doing this thing because see it's like nifty is only going to go up right i mean what, what are we even doing this thing for because see number one we had drawn this line um, three four days back and we had said that this is a bullish hammer this candle which i am circling now this is a bullish hammer and the top of the bullish hammer kind of became a base or a support zone and every time it comes near it it's going to be bought into so we again saw a hanging man but that did not survive then it came back doji now we are again taking support at this 20850 to 2900 zone so there's a very high likelihood that there's always going to be buying at this level right so uh, so this is number 1 so this is the um, daily chart weekly chart here like you know this is a huge bullish marubozu so that's also bullish right so nifty taking support at uh, 2850 to 2900 zone weekly candle bullish marubozu right now let's look at bank nifty hi yo bank nifty we had talked about this on uh, thursday this is a so this was a gap fill this is a bullish hammer and this is now a confirmation of a bullish hammer and now it is uh, giving the highest ever close in bank nifty so bank nifty is giving the highest weekly close highest daily close it's uh, confirm oh my god look at the size of this uh, so everything looks strong again daily and weekly close same applies for bank nifty in fact bank nifty's uh, daily candle is the confirmation of a bullish uh, uh, hammer right so this is the support zone yeah pe it bounced i mean 4600 is a support zone it bounced here and now it is almost invalidating the bearish engulfing so i'll tell you what is the meta this candle which you saw 3 4 days back is a bearish engulfing right now normally a bearish engulfing uh, stop loss right is here at the top of the candle now 
this maribozu which is formed on friday is testing the stop loss of this bearish engulfing so if nifty goes higher everybody who shorted here will try to do short covering i mean that at least that's what the candlestick theory says so people who shorted this bearish engulfing will keep their stop loss at 47250 kind of levels if that is taken out tomorrow then we'll see short covering so tomorrow also might be bullish right so this is nifty this is bank nifty now let's go to open interest open interest here Hmm, 2700 is a support, but then that's interesting actually. There isn't much of a support around this level. The first support is 21, 20,700, where majority uh, calls or puts are getting added. So 2700 is support. 21,000 has some early signs of resistance, but this is just uh, you know I think round figure getting bought into. So I'm not sure how much of a support this is. PCR is very strong at uh, 1.1, but that's because. There's nothing after twenty one thousand, right? And there's plenty of support at all. So, or let me, uh, you know, try to articulate it in a very calm and steady manner. Every single strike below twenty thousand nine hundred has increasing levels of support. Whereas, if you look at twenty one thousand, after that, there's nothing, no resistance. You have to go all the way to twenty one three hundred to find any meaningful resistance after twenty one thousand. So if twenty one thousand gets breached, then we have a three hundred point rally to twenty one three hundred probably. But if twenty one thousand twenty thousand nine hundred is broken, also, yeah, shy they will catch it or they will catch it or they will catch it. And there are so many people ready to catch it, right? So twenty thousand nine hundred and below is our zones of resistance. If twenty one thousand sorry, the zones of support. If twenty one thousand is taken out, there is not much resistance, right? PCR is one point one, strongly bullish. Now let's go to FI data. This is going to be interesting. just reading some viewer comments okay oh sorry 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 i made a mistake sorry i'm going to take that back i'm so sorry so i'm going to you know i'll ask the this so please ignore the oi part which we just mentioned let's go back to the oi i had actually changed that in a different tab so okay oi is 21000 and above is a resistance actually and 29 in fact just invert everything i said so far so sorry if this resistance at every level after 21000 and there is some support below 21000 21000 is the biggest term uh, resistance uh, so 21 support below 2900 21000 is the highest oi resistance uh, but again whatever we said last time there is nothing after 21000 right actually this is also correct same thing only because there is support at every level it's just that uh, in the next week chart there was progressively more you know blocks of puts here so support below 20 uh, support at every level below 21000 is the highest oi but if it is taken out no resistance right so this is correct no change in that pcr is uh, 1.0 that's also bullish again so sorry i think i just you know. yeah ashutosh thank you for that comment man if i hadn't seen that i would have explained next week but i mean roughly the same analysis right oi distribution is roughly the same now fi data <clears throat> this is interesting fi bought 45k calls but they also bought 80k puts net net negative
futures data 400 crore 350 crore buy that is positive not like mega bullish mildly bullish <laughs> stock data hmm. 3600 crore buy that is bullish and so i'll tell you what is the most interesting takeaway right for the last 23rd november se leke 1 2 3 4 5 so many bullish this one negative day 7th december but after that it's been one way street so there's a lot of there's plenty of fii buying now in cash so market still strong and dips are likely to be bought into uh, no point shorting for big targets or holding shorts avoid shorting this is uh, for sure one trade CRE this is tricky because the thing is this right I, I there is a little bit of a conflict but or, or let me put it this way right it takes an unusual amount of guts to go buy here but you shouldn't sell if at all there's a tr trade it is a buy but my god how do you get yourself to buy here yeah like I, I you know what I mean like it's crazy I mean yeah but then what else do you do in the sense that see obviously it is not a sell market obviously it is a buy market but you know are your hands steady when you hit the buy button on this is the question my hands won't be steady it's scary i mean of course 21 this level is a support see the thing is this right i'm a little bit worried about market revisiting this level you know and uh one second oh i've only put sma9 i have to change that i don't know why it became sma9 but that's weird Hmm. Yeah, I'm moving averages are looking correct, but for some reason, yeah, I'm a little, little, little bit worried that it might just go down and test this level again, which is around 20,700. In which case, if you're long, you might have to prepare for a 200 point stop loss, but very tricky. Like, I mean, yes, you can probably trade, or, or let me put it this way, right? If Nifty moves, up it will be a violent move up in which case it is better to play it with an option where you pay the premium than receive premium because your risk reward is more than one right so basically what i'm trying to say is that if you play this market with a max loss greater than max profit then it might just go down and uh, you might lose uh, a little bit of money Will there be any impact of Hong Kong news? What is the Hong Kong news? My God, what is happening in Hong Kong? Ah, okay. There is a council elections tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow there is elections. I don't know, yeah. I don't think that's like a big, you know. I don't. I don't think. Anyway, I think Chinese people have said only people who believe in China can vote. So, sorry. <laughs> it's like it's such a. It's I. I don't. I'm not making any comments. I don't want to talk about China. I don't know anything about Hong Kong's politics. What's the point? Now, last thing. Let's just look at. Uh, it just. Uh, yeah, I don't know how they call it elections when, yeah, never mind. Uh, sorry, where is that thing? Analyze stock market calendar. Oh, 
okay so tomorrow a day of tomorrow iip data of india is coming hopefully it will be coming out good given that last few data points have been coming out interesting inflation rate is coming on tuesday this is important federal reserve rate interest rate decision the mother of all economic events is coming on maybe i should do it in red this is a mega mega event 14 december thursday please watch out important decision as if that is not enough 14 december so this is thursday night um, uh, so we'll see the effects on uh, morning um, thursday morning in india uh, this is on thursday afternoon inflation data so quite a bit of inflation uh, two inflation data coming on 12th wholesale inflation coming on 14th but of course this is more this 12 december inflation data is more important than 14 december data so this is important these two please watch out uh, i do you can read up something about what's the expectation what is it likely to be etc etc uh also given that rbi has not really reduced any rates i think it's unlikely that inflation will i don't know right let's not speculate on that wpi inflation is important but the most important thing is federal reserve interest rate decision super duper mega you know mother of all events if this number and also the commentary that us gives will be watched by the entire world because that's what going to determine a lot of things which we'll see in the so this week has event risks so please bet size accordingly right this is an important decision i mean this week has too many important events happening it also could mean that if all these data points are benign market might just climb to something which we have never seen before which incidentally it is right now because this is all time high which means we have never seen this before right uh so yeah that yep okay so that basically is it this concludes our analysis for today we'll see you again uh, tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual please take care and keep your